Another day, another story. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we explore the latest trends in health and wellness. Today, we'll be discussing the benefits and risks of popular diets such as keto, veganism, and intermittent fasting. There's no denying that these diets have gained a lot of attention in recent years, and many people have reported significant weight loss and health improvements from following them. However, there are also risks associated with each of these diets, and it's important to understand them before deciding to try them out. So, let's dive in and learn more. The Keto Diet First, let's talk about the Keto Diet. Rapid Weight Loss One of the primary benefits of the Keto Diet is that it can lead to rapid weight loss. This is because the high-fat, low-carbohydrate diet forces the body to burn fat for fuel instead of glucose, which can lead to significant weight loss in a relatively short period of time. Improved Blood Sugar Control The keto diet has been shown to improve blood sugar control in people with type 2 diabetes. By limiting carbohydrate intake, the diet can help lower blood sugar levels and reduce the need for insulin. Reduced inflammation Chronic inflammation is associated with a number of health problems, including heart disease, cancer, and arthritis. The keto diet has been shown to reduce inflammation in the body, which may help reduce the risk of these diseases. Increased risk of heart disease While the keto diet can lead to rapid weight loss, the high fat content of the diet can increase the risk of heart disease. This is because a diet high in saturated fat can raise cholesterol levels and increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Nutrient deficiencies The keto diet limits carbohydrate intake, which can make it difficult to get enough fiber, vitamins, and minerals. This can lead to nutrient deficiencies if the diet is not carefully planned and balanced. Keto flu
When starting the keto diet, some people may experience what is known as the keto flu. This is a set of symptoms that can include headaches, fatigue, and nausea, as the body adjusts to the new diet. While these symptoms are usually temporary, they can be uncomfortable and may discourage some people from sticking with the diet. Overall, while the keto diet can be an effective way to lose weight and improve health outcomes for some people, it is not without its risks. Veganism Next, let's discuss veganism. Veganism is a diet that excludes all animal products, including meat, dairy, and eggs. Lower risk of chronic diseases. Veganism has been associated with a lower risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer. This is likely due to the high intake of plant-based foods, which are rich in nutrients and antioxidants. Improved digestion. Veganism can improve digestion due to the high fiber content of plant-based foods. Fiber can help regulate bowel movements, prevent constipation, and improve overall gut health. Increased energy levels. Veganism can increase energy levels due to the high intake of complex carbohydrates, which provide sustained energy throughout the day. Plant-based foods are also often lower in fat and calories, which can lead to weight loss and increased energy levels. Nutrient deficiencies Vegans need to be mindful of getting enough protein, iron, calcium, and vitamin B12, which are nutrients commonly found in animal products. These nutrients can be obtained from plant-based sources, but it may require careful planning and supplementation. Limited food options. Veganism can limit food options, especially when eating out or traveling. This can make it difficult to stick to the diet and may require additional planning and preparation. Social isolation. Veganism can be socially isolating, as it can be difficult to find restaurants and social events that cater to vegan diets. This can lead to feelings of exclusion and may require additional effort to maintain social connections.
Overall, while veganism can be a healthy and sustainable way of eating for many people, it is important to be aware of the potential risks and to ensure that the diet is balanced and nutritionally adequate. Finally, let's talk about intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting involves limiting food intake to certain times of the day or week. The benefits of intermittent fasting include weight loss, improved blood sugar control, and reduced inflammation. However, there are also risks associated with intermittent fasting. Fasting can lead to nutrient deficiencies, especially if you're not eating a well-balanced diet during your feeding windows. Additionally, some people may experience headaches, fatigue, and dizziness while fasting. Weight loss One of the primary benefits of intermittent fasting is weight loss. By restricting calorie intake during certain times of the day or week, intermittent fasting can create a calorie deficit and lead to weight loss. Improved blood sugar control. Intermittent fasting has been shown to improve blood sugar control and reduce insulin resistance in people with type 2 diabetes. This is likely due to the fact that fasting can lower blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. Reduced inflammation. Intermittent fasting has been shown to reduce inflammation in the body, which may help reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. Nutrient deficiencies. Intermittent fasting can lead to nutrient deficiencies, especially if the diet is not well balanced during the feeding windows. It is important to ensure that the diet includes a variety of nutrient-dense foods to prevent deficiencies. Headaches, fatigue, and dizziness. Fasting can cause headaches, fatigue, and dizziness, especially during the first few days of the diet. These symptoms usually go away once the body adjusts to the new eating pattern. Intermittent fasting can lead to disordered eating patterns in some people, especially those with a history of eating disorders. It is important to approach the diet with caution and to seek help if any negative thoughts or behaviors arise. Overall, while intermittent fasting can be an effective way to lose weight and improve health outcomes for some people, it is not without its risks. Additionally, it is important to maintain a balanced and nutrient-dense diet during the feeding windows to prevent nutrient deficiencies.
So, there you have it. While each of these diets has its benefits, there are also risks associated with them. It's important to remember that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to diet and nutrition. Before starting any new diet, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian to make sure you're meeting your nutritional needs. Thank you for tuning in today, and we hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more health and wellness content. Thanks for watching.